right guys i didn't realize when i started to film this that my dress blends in with this couch at least i've got a little bit of color behind me this is a ripple afghan can't remember if it's called a wave or what but that my mom made me it looks kind of bunched up but the cat's up here in the way so two days wednesday it's kind of a work in progress because I actually had to do a small yarn shop. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I have plenty of yarn, but this is for a special project. I have um, two extended family members that are getting married to not each other, but different people. Um, one from each side of the family, one from my husband's side and one from my side. And both weddings are in November, and I want to make an afghan for each of them as a wedding present. So I've been searching, and I went on Annie's Crochet and found this Textured Hearts Blanket Sampler. Oh, I'm sorry, Textured Hearts Sampler Blanket. That is really pretty. It calls for... 12 skeins, 12 three and a half ounce skeins of anti-pilling worsted weight acrylic yarn and a K hook or the size to obtain the gauge. It is an afghan. I'm going to go with a K hook and I actually just buy an extra skein of yarn to be safe. Of course, I did not have that large of an amount of an of a wedding afghan appropriate color. So I went to Hobby Lobby this morning and I'm, I already have a trusty K hook. So I bought the pattern from Annie's. I went to Hobby Lobby this morning. I need, I'm estimating because I want to use, I love this yarn. I like the softness of it and I like how it washes. So I was estimating that I would need seven skeins at, you know, seven ounces cause I should need 42 ounces if I was exactly on gauge, but extra skein never hurt anybody. I wanted to get white. They did not have seven skeins of white. And I said, okay, I'll get an off-white, a creamy color. They did not have seven skeins of a creamy off-white. But I did find this, which is called linen. And it's a very soft color. So I think it's actually going to make up beautiful. So this is my small yarn haul. I bought seven skeins of that, which wiped out every bit they had of it. I was like, ah! But I just felt like if I went with a pink or a red or a blue or something like that, I ran the risk of not, of accidentally picking a color that wasn't considered appropriate or that didn't go with things. So I felt a neutral was a good choice. And somehow dark colors like grays and things don't feel wedding gift to me. So I got seven of those. I'm pulling them out of the bag. Forgive the rustle. And then I have used up, let me see, hold on just a minute. I still haven't worked in ends, but I know that I showed that I had made this dress using one of the Crafter Secrets yarn. Well, I have made since then two more and I've pretty much used that entire skein, but I have a second skein already in my stash. And I like the way this yarn is working up. I like the way it feels in my hand. So while I was there, I bought two more skeins, which should give me 36 ounces, which is enough for a pretty good size project. So I got those and then they were not necessarily an impulse purchase because I had made up my mind if they had any, I was going to get some, but they were a, uh, let's see if they have it purchased. So, and then Hobby Lobby has several new little leaflets out that I thought I would share with you guys. I found four that I did not have. One says yarn for the holidays. 
has a knitted gnome and then there is down below I believe that is a tree skirt that is crocheted the tree skirt is crocheted then there is a knit table runner which is very pretty and in the middle I really like this fall pillow and it is it looks like it's crocheted. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. It is knitted. There is a star and a knitted fall pillow, but I think I might could chart that out and crochet it if I wanted to. So there's a star and a knitted fall pillow. My fingers cover part of the star. Then on the next page, there is Finger knitted, twisted, and braided double up strands of yarn to make varied textures. Basically, it is just garland for a mantelpiece. And then look at these cute little ornaments in pink there. They are crocheted mittens and a little hat. And then there are three storage baskets that are crocheted using bulky yarn and they basically spell out joy. There's a J, then an O-shaped snowflake, and then a Y there. So they're very cute. And then there is a wrapped up foam wreath. This is made with that really thick velvet yarn. I don't know that I would like the texture of that yarn, but I might. I could try it, I suppose. And then, of course, there is a stocking shown on the front that is bobble crocheted. And most of these patterns, you can just go on, in fact, all of these patterns, you can go on their website, of course, HobbyLobby.com. Then there was a stack of baby patterns. There is a rainbow baby blanket, which is adorable. A cocoon. Let me turn that a little flatter. Can you see that? A cocoon. Now the cocoon has the pattern actually on the thing. There is a, on the leaflet I should say, hanging basket, which is Kind of cute and would be convenient for a lot of things. A changing basket. That would probably also be cute for just if you needed something to like lay on the floor when you didn't want to lay a baby on something that they could roll off of kind of thing. A soft stacker toy and then a baby hat down at the bottom. And then some sculptural decor using yarn and aluminum wire. Basically, you are doing, oh, what's it called when you knit around in the circle? That tubing you make. Oh, somebody help me. What is that called? Um, I-cord. When you're making I, you make I cord and then you insert an aluminum wire in it and bend it to shape. But that's a cute idea, a cute decor idea. But that was a leaflet that I didn't have. And then here is a shawl and scarf leaflet. I do hate to say I like two crochet prayer shawls because that's it makes it sound like I enjoy the fact that someone else is having difficulty or needs prayers. And I don't mean it that way, but I'd like to be able to give prayer shawls to people. So I'm always on the lookout for, I consider it a way to use one of the talents, skills, whatever term we're going to use that I have. So I li I'm always on the lookout for shawl patterns and they had this out which is a really cute shawl and it is called well they describe it as shawl good it is a 
chevron pattern zigzags and the pattern is actually written on the thing which i i like and then there is a easy scarf which is also cute looks like it would be a perfect piece for traveling kind of to snuggle in and then i haven't looked at this one yet but they had a kitchen pretties has some hanging basket bags on the front. A fringed table runner with knitting and crocheting. I will probably not make that because my cats would have a field day with that fringe, but I might make it without the fringe, I'm not sure. Then there is a crocheted oops oh, let me fold this sorry crocheted they're calling it a make and take a food carrier a basket to hold like a 9 by 13 type dish some coffee cup and travel mug cozies a very cute placemat but again there's that fringe i would have to adjust that i might could do scallops or um even picos or something and then cotton yarn is thick and evenly distributes heat then there is a basic garter stitch. They're calling it a trivet. I think that would make really cute placemats too. And let me see, I think that is it. So I will try to come back. I am traveling, so that's one of the reasons that I wanted to go ahead and get this and work on, on the road. We'll try to come back and share when I get you know, an update on this, and I have a ton of other projects that I've got to finish up. Um, they're all waiting for me to work in the ends and do things like that, so I'm going to have to pick a night where I kind of do a familiar movie or something and spend some time doing that stuff. So anyway, I'd love to know down below, what are you working on? Do you have, like I do, a yarn stash and still have to go out occasionally and buy something for a gift? And an opinion question. Do you think that a handmade afghan is an appropriate wedding gift? Because I'm, I'm back and forth. I mean, I, I, this is going to be nice. It's going to be pretty, you know, all those things. But still, I, you know, I don't know. I, I tend to lean more toward the old-fashioned on a lot of things. And some people don't. So I'd love an opinion. Anyway, guys. Thanks for joining me on my mini yarn shop and a quick look through of the new pamphlets, leaflets. I call them leaflets, but I guess they're pamphlets since they're multiple pages. So I'd have to look up the technical definition, which is, you know, you know what I mean. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you back soon. Let me know down below. What are you working on? See you later, guys.